was trying to rush, like for real, like I'm going somewhere. The gag is I'm going nowhere. <laughs> Fast. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another get ready with me. Ah, I love doing, hold on. Oh, not the hydraulics in the middle of my conversation, girl. Did that freak y'all out? I love doing get ready with me's. I love doing get ready with me's with a brand new scalp, girl, because I really do feel like a brand new girl. Like, look at this hair. This, I am hot, friend. This wig is about to slide off my head like a snail. So let me just. <laughs> Hurry up, girl, because it's getting real, getting kind of hectic in the hairline. <laughs> this get ready with me today is for Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, date night. Cozy, perfect for your girl's day, perfect for a night with your man, with your girl, with your partner. So we're going to go through head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Girl, basically it's the whole body. So we're going to do a full get ready with me, including fragrance. So hair, makeup, outfit, and fragrance. We're going to do all of those in one look, like a 20 minute natural-esque skin-like makeup look, and a very, very natural scalp-like wig, cause it's giving, like look, girl, no baby hairs. It's giving natural hairline. So I wanna say thank you to Janota Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this video. First, we're gonna go ahead and get into the hair look, and then we're gonna get into the rest of the shoulders, knees, and toes. So let's go ahead and get into the look. Please keep on watching and I'll be back to do the face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this beautiful unit. It comes in the Janota hair box and inside of that box, of course, you receive your gifts, lashes, baby hair brush, wig cap, all that stuff, and you receive your gorgeous wig. This is what the wig looks like when it's straight out of the box. This is the hairline. It's a kinky straight hairline and it comes with a piano key adjustable band. And girl, this is what the wig looks like when I tried it on. I had a wig on under this, so it was a little bit lumpy. <laughs> we don't do the ball cap method over here. We use a wig grip and a wig cap as our base. And in order to tint the lace and make sure it blends into the skin, I'm gonna use my Calendaric Lace Tint Spray, spray it all over the lace, and then use a brush to blend it in. This makes sure my lace is going to be the same color as my skin tone. Now we're gonna go ahead and plop on this wig. You can see that the lace is looking a lot more seamless on my skin. So next I wanna see what type of part I wanna do. And I decided I want to do a side part. And I wanna show you what the hairline looks like after bleaching the knots and uh, showing you what the curls actually look like once they're wet. They actually get a bit curlier. And I'm gonna take the back of my hot comb to flatten that hairline. I do not wanna straighten it. I just wanna blend it a little bit. So after blending it, I'm going to go ahead and flatten out that part just to make sure the part's not just hyped up. And as you can see, that hairline is giving root realness. And y'all know how I feel about root realness. I could cry, girl. I love it so much. Now next, we need to go ahead and cut this lace. I cut my lace before I apply my wigs because it's just easier for me. I don't know how to do it with all that lace on my hair. I can't see, it's too much. So, as you can see, it looks like you can wear this wig glueless, no problemo. It looks amazing. But of course, y'all know me, I like to be secure. I live in fear. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this wig using my, what is that spray? The Eben Lace Bond Spray. I'm gonna spray that all over my forehead. I'll leave a link for this bond spray down below. I love this stuff from Amazon. I'm gonna spray it all over the forehead and apply the wig. Just go ahead and lay it down and use the back of like a baby hair brush, a dirty baby hair brush. That girl, don't look at that tube brush side and just melt it down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make sure I do it on the ear tabs just so the wig is secure and it ain't going nowhere. So I do the same thing on both sides of the ear tabs. And one thing I'm noticing with this kinky, straight with this kinkier hairline shout out to my husband girl this is a valentine's day get ready with me so you knew my man was gonna pop up my man my man my man <laughs> y'all gonna be sick of me um i'm gonna go ahead i noticed that this hairline dries really like it looks really natural after it dries girl i lost my train of thought it looks really natural after it dries it blends right into the skin and you don't need baby hairs and that is a savior girl because baby hairs can be annoying sometimes but look how beautiful this hair is i haven't straightened it nothing we just washed it and conditioned it and i'm just going to straighten out some of the uh 
crimps because it looks more like crimps in the hair. I'm going to straighten out some of those crimps just to make the blow drying process a little bit easier, at least at the top. And as you can see, I'm still impressed by the hairline, but girl, y'all know I'm messy. It looked like somebody just licked my forehead. <laughs> so I need to make sure I take some micellar water and a cotton pad. It's better to use a Q-tip because I got cotton all up in the hairline. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off all of that excess shininess. My forehead is still shiny, but the girl, that's just me. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my wig dealer spray and not spray, my wig dealer gel. And I'm going to melt down the parts of the lace that look to be a little bit more separated from the skin. This adds a little extra melt that you don't get from the spray down. And as you can see, it looks like it's growing out of my scalp. I don't care what you say. So I'm going to take, I'm going to melt this hairline using the Janota elastic band that they supplied to me in the little gift baggie. And I'm just going to do a little bit more pre-straightening before we get into blow drying this hair. Now, as you can see, it's a gorgeous te texture. It's super duper, duper soft. And you can stop right here if you want to, friend. But you know, I got to do a little extra something. It's, it's a Valentine's Day look, date night look. So we need to make sure this, this hair it has like a little bit of bump to it. I don't like for the hair to be super straight. I just like it to be blow dried a little bit. So we're gonna speed through this part, but I'm using the Conair, what is this? A Revlon, what is it called? Oh my God, <laughs> I'll leave it down below, but I've used this so many times before. Y'all have seen it before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this hair semi straight, not enough to make it look bone straight, because I love texture on my wigs just enough to basically burn down my apartment girl. Look at all that smoke. <laughs> but as you can see, it's straightened beautifully. You could stop here, but you know me, I'm not. So I'm also going to take a uh, some scissors and I'm just gonna go ahead and trim the bottom of the hair just to make it a little bit more even. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a layeration because I kinda want face framing layers, just long layers. Are these long layers or choppy layers? I don't know, but I'm gonna section away that hair at the top, layer that down, and then do the layering on the sides just to make it look like it's, you know, I don't know, but I feel like this works. I really don't know what this does, but I feel like it works. So I'm gonna continue to do that on both sides. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and get to curling this hair. Y'all already know what tool is gonna pop out of the arsenal. Y'all have seen her many, many times before. And I feel like <laughs> cheese spin and curl owes it to me because I'm in love with this thing. This is a cheese spin and curl. It curls your hair for you. If you don't have the flick of the wrist down and you don't know how to curl hair, it's for you. I love this thing. I do not use a curler. This is the only thing I use. So basically you just like put the hair into the cheese spin and curl and then it curls it. And then I use my Pantene air spray to secure the curls. And that's it. I let it sit for a minute. Let the curls marinate. It smells so good, girl. I used way too much. It was giving smoky in there, thriller. Like, what's going on? So after that's complete, we're going to go ahead and reveal the hairline. Look at her. That was dramatic. Like, I be doing a lot. But I was really excited and surprised. Y'all know how much I love a good hairline wig. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip out the curls, show you what they look like. And all I need to do now is take a wide tooth comb and just comb through it. And ma'am, you see how this hair looks. It literally is super duper soft. I wouldn't say silky, but like it's giving silk press silky, bouncy, it has texture. It is perfection. And I have to tell you, I was in love. Look at that hairline, look at the body. The trim did the hair so much justice. It looks amazing. I'm in love with it. Y'all tell me what you think about this wig and about that texture on the hairline below. It's a new thing and we are in love with it, or at least I am. I'll go ahead and leave a link for this wig down below and I'll also leave the coupon code down below. Now let's go ahead and get into the face. We're gonna go ahead and do a light makeup look. I'm thinking this is more like a Valentine's Day date night sort of look because girl, I don't really know what else to do. Plus, I ain't got a lot of time. It's already 8.18 and I need to be done in like 15 minutes. This is exactly what date night is like for me. And one thing I know is that light makeup, y'all know how the men's is be or how your partners be when they're like, you don't need that much makeup. So we're gonna start 
with pulling our hair back. Oh, I haven't done this in a minute. This is my hair, I don't care what nobody say. You can ask me a million times, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, girl, this is my hair. So, back up <laughs> and give me 15 feet. <laughs> it's 8.20 right now. 15 minute makeup. 8.35, is that the time? I can't run my mouth, oh my God. We'll see. I'm trying to just be done with my makeup, that's it. So let me go ahead and spray my face down. I'm gonna use the Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. If you're anything like me, girl, you know, like every date night, I'm like rushing and it's insane. I'm gonna use my CCS CCO makeup. We about to use Neutral Golden in the center of the face. So I'm not gonna do any foundation because I feel like Foundation can be cakey. Uh-uh. This isn't light enough. I may have to go back in. Is that light enough? It's just like kind of green. So I may have to go back in a little bit with something. But in the meantime, girl, this will do. I ain't worried about it. I'm also going to take the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in warm Walnut. This is actually my skin tone. So that is nice. And since this is my skin tone, I'm going to use it in my hyperpigmentation areas. So like around the mouth. Um, probably down here. And let's see right here on the cheeks just to blend out. I don't know if I need any on the forehead. I guess we'll see. I'll blend upwards towards the forehead. I feel like the forehead should be left free now. But we're gonna take our <laughs> sponges. Now these sponges, girl, oh, they already about dry. It's gonna blend out. I will wash my sponges with face wash, so. Yeah, since it's Valentine's Day, we can go ahead and just chat a little bit. I'm actually gonna risk and run my mouth. Chat about, I don't, do y'all celebrate Valentine's Day? Because we don't. <laughs> I never was a Valentine's Day girl, even before I met my husband. Even though I got mad at him one year for not being home for Valentine's Day. Girl, I don't, <laughs> uh, or for working. He, he was claiming that he was working on Valentine's Day. He actually was getting my ring for this ring right here. He was getting my ring. Oh no, it was the day after Valentine's Day. He said he was working and I thought we would spend time together. We were working, he was still working at the restaurant that I quit, I think. And I was like, you told me that you were gonna have that day off and it was gonna be a date night. He was upset, I was upset, I was really frustrated. And then my sister was like, well, do you wanna hang out today? And I was like, well, cool, great. So then, um, Oh, this is what I'm looking for. This is the Golden Skin Stick Foundation. How much time do I have? Girls already eat four minutes after. Okay. Um. Oh, that looks pretty, right? I like to take my sponge and just dip it into it. So I was running late, hanging out with my sister. So then she told me to meet. She told me to meet her at the Omni rooftop downtown which was actually right across the street from where me and my husband met and where we worked and where he still worked went up on the rooftop didn't see anybody it was completely empty so i was like this girl then got me in the wrong spot and my husband came around the corner and he did his little spill he proposed and i boohoo boohoo cried girl but it was so cute so sweet it was just me and him and my sister was so sweet to be a part of it I mean, I cried like a baby. So for us, Valentine's Day isn't actually the day that we celebrate. It's the day after Valentine's Day because that's the day we got engaged. So, um, oh, and my husband, one Valentine's Day, got me this necklace. We were only dating for two months and this necklace is so beautiful. I never take it off. When you know, you know, girl. <laughs> I get on my own nerves. So. I'm gonna take the Walnut Skin Stick Foundation and I'm just gonna dab it onto the sponge and then dab it onto the face. 
because we're trying to get a flush of color. But yeah, girl, it was so cute. I love that engagement. It was an amazing engagement, and it's perfect because we're really just, it was perfect that it was just us. I, you know, being proposed to in front of people would just make me so anxious that it was perfect that it was just me and him. What's crazy is that uh, the whole time, I didn't have a channel before I met him, but no one knew I was married or engaged or I never put any of that online because I felt like it was so personal. I don't like playing around with that, to be frank. Does this look right for y'all, to y'all? It look a little weird. <laughs> it do. It look a little weird. Y'all know I love this blush. This is the NYX blush. There is hair everywhere. This is a NYX stick, wonder stick um, blush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. When I tell you I washed my hands so much today, it is 828. Girl, are we gonna make it? Yes. I still believe in myself. I'm gonna take the coral side, I think. What side is this? Deep peach side. I don't know why I always forget. It's the only blush that I use. I'm just gonna add it to the cheeks. Y'all know for Valentine's Day, looking flushed is so important. Do I look flushed or hot? Girl! <laughs> I like to put all of my makeup on, like basically with no brushes because brushes just be, I'm about to use a brush, but brushes are just like hard to clean and I just don't be feeling like it. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with my, I just bought that little puff thing. The new little Amazon puff that everybody's been using. I'm late to the game, but I had to buy them because people kept saying it was the bomb. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna take some of it and like they say, like put it in there, dab the excess off in your hand and just set it. It just feels so weird because I usually use um, a wet beauty blender to set my powders. So it feels weird when it's dry. Like it feels like I'm putting chalk on my face. Like it's so weird. And it better not settle on my smile lines because then I'm a, all y'all gonna hear is knocking on this mic. It's gonna sound like the Jerry Springer show. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I love this Laura Mercy powder, but I feel like I need to try there's some other powder, it was like one powder, the one powder, I don't know. I need to try that as well. Oh, I gotta text my home girl. Now I'm all, girl it's 13 minutes. Okay, I'm getting my the center of my face. Yes, yes, yes. And then we gotta get, I like to get my whole nose because my nose gets shiny. So it's better for me to just set the whole thing and then re-contour again. Cool, and then get above the eyebrows. Is this an eyeshadow look? I don't know, I don't really want eyeshadow. What do y'all think? <laughs> I don't have time. Girl, I got three minutes. I, I'm about to lose, I'm about to lose. Let's see how bad I lose though. Like, I feel like I, I need my minute back. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown bronzer in the color Deep. I found this at the CCS and oh my God, it's such, I think I remember it being a pretty bronzer. Yeah, like, look. It's the color that I like. Never had a real bronzer before, so I'm just like so excited. Like, I've never had a bronzer. Every time I look at bronzers, I don't know if it's for, like, this happens to y'all. They just look so much lighter inside the pack that you'd be like, girl, that is not gonna work out for me. <laughs> then we can really blend it in. Go under the chin, and then I need to hit the nose. So I squeeze, I use this, I squeeze my brush, and then I just go up the nose. And then I'm gonna go under the chin, under the chin. Go up. See, this is why I'm always late. Y'all know the blush I like to use, lip bar blush. It's really, really light. It's this blush right here in their Boss Moves palette. The blush is called Grinding. I'm just gonna put that right here. It's more of like a shimmery blush. Lip Bar has amazing blushes, I'm telling y'all. Blend 
some of the bronzer all over the face so it doesn't look so like not blended <laughs> you know should i put just some of the bronzer oh is this a makeup brush oh this is a makeup brush from lip bar they had gave me i think they gave me two girl's already late it's 8 34 i got one minute left so i gotta make some shape <clears throat> i'm about done though it's a two-sided brush so cute oh this is the apply girl i don't have time for that if i can't win windshield wipe it on get out of my face i just got i only use one color on my eyelids i don't do multiple colors i just do one it's already 8 35. <sighs> girl i i'm claiming my time i'm reclaiming my time <laughs> this is the lip bar eyebrow pencil i love it this is like a brown one really pretty and I love doing my eyebrows twice like before and after so I can really get like a real eyebrow because y'all know I ain't got no eyebrows and do this side do I need mascara why do I feel like that I put too much pressure on that brush girl I don't scratch my eyelid my eyelashes are Girl, that broke. I'm reclaiming my time. I need that 30 seconds back. Girl, it's already 8.36. <laughs> there we go. Ooh! This lip bar pencil is so good. It just broke, though. That was annoying. But I definitely would buy this because it's so good. They have such a good pencil. It's like a micro brow pencil. Okay, so I'm going to take my Better Than Sex. Ooh! Perfect for date night. <laughs> I'm gonna take this mascara. I used to love this mascara from Too Faced. Really good. Or maybe I just gave into the hype. Cause back in like 2016, girl, it was all the rage. The makeup is looking natural, right? Like you really can't even. You can tell I have on makeup, but it's giving very much. Did I touch my face with the mascara, girl? Now I need to find my lip liner. I don't know why I don't buy two. Like one for the house and one for travel. Like because I'm always running in, running to my bag to get it. It's like silly. So the lip liner I'm using is the Rebel Kind lip liner. Y'all have seen this before. For NYX. Why do I have this other object in my hand? trying to rush like for real like I'm going somewhere the gag is I'm going nowhere <laughs> fast <laughs> why <laughs> it is a shame uh oh too much product I'm using the um, NYX lingerie cabaret show lip stick <laughs> Uh, cream and I'm just gonna take my blush the snack and rooms blush from um, Beauty Bakery and I put that all over the lips to give it more of a blushed look like kissable you know what I'm saying I try not to repeat fingers but you see how blushy and like kissable that looks like it's more of a blush tone because obviously it is a blush so let me wipe off all my fingers <laughs> so i can spray my face down set it and forget it uh-oh need to relax I'm gonna let the face set oh that's pretty it's giving blush you know what i'm saying Ooh. Girls, 841. See, that's why. <laughs> Somebody needs to figure out what's going on with me. Okay, but the makeup is done. And let me show you the time. It's 842. So, oh, that's me and my husband on our wedding day. It's 842 now, so. Mm, I feel like I did good. It's only like seven minutes late. He would have been mad by now, but you know what I'm saying. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my earrings my watch and my outfit because this is a three one get ready with me valentine's day like 
rush style and then I'll show you the finished outfit and then we'll be done. <laughs> okay. Okay y'all, so this is the finished outfit. I don't know if you could see it from where you are, but it is so cute. Okay, girl, let me turn around and show you. <laughs> These pants are from House of CB. I was trying to figure out if I like them and I do like them, so I need to take this off. But girl, these pants were $150. So I was thinking like, maybe you should keep it on and make it like a moment. <laughs> but girl, I tripped like three times around this house. So I need to get my life together and cut this off. I know I'm keeping it. And now I'm on camera wearing it. So girl, let me just go ahead and cut this off. Dang it. Girl, I got tags on everything. And I'm about to fall. Oh my God. We're chopping it off? Ah, I can't take it back now. Once you take this off of a house of CB garment, you can't take it back. So it's mine. <laughs> money going okay so i have on these house of cb pants with this very very soft it feels like cashmere but this is the from the brand bp i think bp is a it's a top shop brand like i said pants are house of cb cargo pants are so cute they're wide leg down to the bottom can y'all see i'm trying to back all the way oh not hitting the lamp like their wide leg down to the bottom. And I just tucked my shirt into my bra. It's already a cropped sweater. It's a cropped sweater, but it is like not short enough to give me like the look of like a body. So this is what it looks like. Jewelry, I just have on, oh, I just snagged my, I have on my Nine West watch and Amazon earrings. And I also have, Oh, I love my little girl not showing the tag. I gotta pop this off too. Girl, I look like I be. So this is my, it's too bright. Okay, can you see me and hear me? Girl, I feel like when it's too bright, you can't hear me. This coach bag is from Coach. It's from the outlet. It's like a croc bag, but I feel like it'd be cute with this. With the same shoes I always wear. These are Steve Madden brown stiletto heels, but all together, what you think, friend? What you think? You can barely see my hair, but you see this? As for fragrance, I'm a cheat girl. Cause I went to the CCO, CCS, CC, whatever. And the CC, CC had told me that I can use these travel perfumes. Oh girl. Okay. So I have the Tom Ford Rose Prick. Girl, I'm about to smell expensive. See, <laughs> it's a little itty bitty bottle. I know that's right. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's perfect for like a, it, it's, it smells like rose, which is like really like romantic. But when it dries down, it's like really deep and warm. I don't know the notes. It's stunning, it's gorgeous. We love it, perfect for a date night. I am sweating right now because I ran around the house trying to cut off all the tags on my stuff and the tag is still on my purse. Get my life together. I still look like I have on a full face. The hair is together. It looks so stunning. It looks more realistic than like when I first did it. The curls have fallen. You know it's kinky straight hair, so the curls are gonna fall. The curls have fallen, but the hair is so soft. It looks so natural, and I love that it doesn't have baby hairs. So it's easy for most people to wear because not everybody likes baby hairs. You know, you can do the baby hairs if you want to, but who needs them? Only thing about these pants is that the button is already, like, it done came off already. The button is off. I already took the tag off too. I know how to sew on a button, so I'm not that worried about it, but I'm irritated. They're $150, girl. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I truly appreciate you watching. I wanna say thank you again to Janota Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring the beginning portion of this Get Ready With Me in this video. We love it. Love the hair, like really top notch. Janota, like it looks like it's my hair. Everything about it, I love it so much. But I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Ha enjoy your Valentine's Day, your Galentine's Day. All of that. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video.